actually looks really cool. Can I do something for you, Mr. Bond? Uh, just a drink. A martini, shaken, not stirred. Hi guys, welcome. Uh, this is the Vespa Martini. This is Tipple and Taste version. Uh, this is in homage to the late great um, Sean Connery, who sadly passed away on the weekend. Now this is seriously strong, but seriously good. This is uh, gin, vodka and vermouth all mixed together. Shaken, not stirred. It's got a license to kill. So we're going to start off, first of all, we're going to add some ice to our coupe glass. Let's get that nice and chilled, give it a little shake around there. Put that away. Then we're going to, first of all, get a shaker, get your shaking equipment out. Again, put some ice in there first, and we're going to get some vermouth. Uh, it's going to be the first step in this cocktail. We've gone for Noily Pratt. Here we go. And that's, you're just going to need a... 25 milliliter shot of that. And you're going to stick that over the ice. The idea of doing this is so that the ice melting will dilute the vermouth slightly. Because in a martini, especially the Vespa martini, uh, there's no other mixers in it, it's just alcohol. So, um, you know, you need something just to sort of dilute that taste so all the flavours really come into one. So, we're going to leave that there for a little bit, just swirling around just to get that going a little bit more. Then you're going to want to take a strainer and pour out most of the vermouth into the bottom of the glass. You don't want to use it all. There we go. You stick that over to the side. Then we're going to stick some more ice in our shaker. As James Bond classically says, shaker not stirred. Okay, right, so then the second step, what we're going to go for is some vodka here of your choosing. We've gone with some Element 29 vodka. So today we are using uh, Element 29 vodka. Uh, this comes from the Sustainable Spirit Company. And now uh, the, the reason why these guys are so great is because they use all of the, their ingredients and recipes, uh, use sustainable sources, and they also package in these nice pouches which can be reused, refilled, and everything's uh, eco-friendly. Um, the reason for this is to reduce the amount of glass and recycling you have to do with all the bottles and, and caps and everything from... Uh, yes. One shot of that, straight in with the vermouth. We also go for gin. Now this is a gin heavy cocktail. Uh, so we're going to do two measures of gin, so that's 50 milliliters there. There we go, stick that in the shaker. Nice. Well, indeed. We'll see. That's where the magic happens. Approximately 10 hours later. Shake and not stir. Perfect. Right, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pour our ice away that we don't need from the cool glass. Get your strainer once again. And you're going to want to double strain this so you get no ice shards in the drink. It's meant to be a smooth, elegant drink. You're going to pour this in. Now it will look cloudy at first, but we, uh, that will settle as we make our lemon twist to accompany the, the drink and a bit of garnish. So this is how you make a lemon twirl to garnish the Vespa Martini. Everyone's got a peeler at home that you can use for potatoes and you just do this on the lemon to make it easier instead of just using a knife to shave it off. It's a little bit safer for the fingers as well. There we go. Peel off a nice bit. Set the lemon to the side, and then to make it look neater, you just trim down the edges here, down either side. And then to make it look a little bit more fancy, snip the tops off, like that. And then you're going to do a simple twist, like that. Twist the, the lemon peel round itself, wrap it round and give it a pull. And there you should have a nice, elegant lemon twist. So when you've got your lemon twist, give it a little spritz over the cocktail, it should give it a nice lemony zest feel, and drop that peel straight into the cocktail, and voila, a Vespa Martini, shaken not stirred. Action, action!